but forever Yankees are treated differently in the realm of Major League Baseball than those that have gone somewhere else, as he could ask Robinson Cano. Perspective is a big part of this, right? I mean, Aaron Judge has played six years, his entire major league career for the New York Yankees. He knows what it feels like to jog out to right field and have that crowd rise up and elevate his game to another level, a level that we saw this year that we haven't seen before. So the perspective is when you go someplace else or when you play someplace else and then you come to the Yankees, you realize how much different it is being a New York Yankee, playing in Yankee Stadium, and playing in front of those fans. There is no place like it. And if he goes someplace else, he's going to realize for six years I had it made. You cannot replicate that energy that that stadium and that crowd brings every night. David Cohn, our colleague, said on my radio show a couple of weeks ago, and he said it so well, he said, you don't realize what it is, as John just said, until you go somewhere else. He said, twice I went somewhere else. And each time, all I wanted to do was get back here. This is different. There's a different vibe to it. And the Yankee uniform, I know it sounds corny, and we're not sitting here selling it to Aaron Judge. He knows it better than anybody. It means something. You hear about players coming to Yankee Stadium and playing at Yankee Stadium for the first time, and they say that pinstripe uniform means something. And when you're a homegrown Yankee, I think it means a completely different thing, John. John, you started your career somewhere else, but you're a local kid. When you put on that uniform, it does have a different feel. It feels different. I remember spring training going actually to the mirror and looking at myself in the pinstripes, and I had already played 10 years in the major leagues. But again, I go back to it. The Yankees are the big leagues, all 29 other clubs it's just a little bit different it doesn't feel the same you wonder with the face-to-face -face between Aaron Judge and the Yankee front office maybe Aaron says hey listen it's really important to me let's get this thing done I want to go back to something you mentioned the Robinson Cano deal and when the Yankees were trying to sign him as a free agent part of the conversation was your marketing opportunities will be so much better in New York and I I put that times a thousand with Aaron Judge because for him, he is the face not only of the Yankees, but Major League Baseball. Marketing in this day and age and commercials and superstar in that way is so different from 10 years ago when Cano was leaving. And Judge is just a more marketable player in Major League Baseball and the Yankees have proven that. And, and I think there's something to be said. Listen, I'm not a West Coast guy. You guys know me. But when you're on the West Coast, you're losing half the country to see you. Mike Trout's one of the greatest players who has ever lived. And I think if he walked down on Fifth Avenue tomorrow, not that many people would recognize him. If Aaron Judge walks down Fifth Avenue, a lot of people would recognize him. If he walks down um, Rodeo Drive, I think people will recognize him. He's a very recognizable guy, and those six years at the Yankees and hitting 60, 62 home runs, it's a big deal. So I think that when, when Aaron and his family sit down and they decide, okay, this is what the Giants have offered me, this is what Another team has offered me. This is what the Yankees have offered me. And if there's a difference in the years and the, and the total value, he's going to have to say, let's just throw a number out. There's a difference of $27 million. Is that worth it for me to leave the New York Yankees? And again, that's a decision only he can make. And then you could flip it and say, well, for the Yankees, is it worth being outbid for $27 million and one year to keep such an iconic talent? It's a high stakes game of chicken. All right. Remember when we go back to the A-Rod deal with Texas, uh, they went out, Tom Hicks, and he spent 80 million more than any other team offered. Probably didn't know it at the time, but he ends up giving him $252 million. Is there an owner out there that's going to do that blow-away deal? It just feels like in this day and age, that owner doesn't exist. Will yeah. somebody go to that nine years? Maybe, maybe even ten. But the number is, like Michael said, that end number is going to be what it yeah, is. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be like an A-Rod type of separation with the financial part of this. Again, it all goes back to, we don't know, and Aaron has done a very good job, Michael, you've talked about it, keeping it close to the vest. How important is the possibility of playing in California? We don't, we don't know. We haven't heard if it's really important. His wife is from out there. His family's from out there. I know everybody says, well, it doesn't matter. She can get on a charter and fly to New York. But there are some players that want to play closer to home. We haven't heard that. But that could be a possibility that the Giants are trying to play. I wonder, though, John, if that's a little bit overblown. Because Linden to San Francisco, yeah. that's a hike. Also, the judges, Aaron and his wife, they live full-time in Tampa, so they're not living in California. Maybe it's for mom and dad to be closer, but they're always around him anyway. 
again, I, I, I think that if Aaron leaves the Yankees, this is my personal opinion, not on any information that I've gathered, it will be because of that one team that we have not realized yet that will completely blow him out of the water to the fact that the Yankees will go, well, we, we, we just can't. It, it just doesn't make fiscal sense. I'm not sure that team exists. That's the thing I think that will take him away. I still, everybody asks me, wherever I go, if I'm out to dinner, I always go 65-35. I think 65% he stays, but I don't think it's a slam dunk. There's still a 35% chance that there's, as they always used to say, one crazy owner. Yep, and those percentages could change on a dime over yep. the course of the next day or two.